The main event of Formula One, the Las Vegas Grand Prix, began chaotically on Friday morning and ended with empty grandstands at 4 a.m. after a manhole erupted. The billion-pound race, which was supposed to elevate the sport in the challenging American market, had its first practice called off after just eight minutes due to a loose cover on the bulb-lit strip. The action didn't resume for another two and a half hours. It was one of the most embarrassing days in the sport's history. It was Formula One's lowest moment since the 2005 US Grand Prix, when concerns over the safety of the tyres forced only six cars to start, and it confirmed the criticism of world champion Max Verstappen, who referred to the new, purportedly dazzling spectacle as 99% show and 1% sport. For F, one owner's Liberty Media, who have invested £500 million in the historic race, the first held on the renowned Strip and a 41-year return to Las Vegas, the failure was a serious blow. Carlos Sainz caused the most recent disaster when he knocked off a water valve cover in the streets of Sin City, smashing his Ferrari chassis in the shocking 200 miles per hour collision. Esteban Ocon of Alpine caught the misplaced lid, but Fernando Alonso of Aston Martin just avoided it. At 8.49 p.m. local time, a red flag was raised, the proceedings were halted, and an inquest got underway. Supporters who had purchased three-day tickets for between pound 400 and 100,000 pounds jeered at the decision to end the event. Throughout the next few hours, tens of thousands fled. Get those goddamn cars out there, an irate spectator yelled. A number of onlookers were ejected from the stands. An F1 spokeswoman attributed this to a lack of security provisions brought forth by labor restrictions. Police had to push some of the crowd out of their way when they wouldn't go right away. F1 refused to say whether or not spectators will receive payment for seeing often a mere eight minutes of activity. Another setback for Liberty was that significantly fewer people attended the games than the 100,000 tickets that were sold out for each of the three days of the tournament. Thirty questionable manhole covers on the boulevard, a portion of the 3.8-mile course where Sunday's race will take place against the backdrop of famous buildings including Caesar's Palace, Bellagio and the Venetian, underwent urgent repairs. The second practice session was postponed from midnight to 2.30 a.m. and extended from one hour to 90 minutes. The corrective work was necessary to ensure that it could proceed, which it eventually did. It was uncertain for a while whether there would be any continuation during the night. Formula One CEO Stefano Domenicali convened urgent talks with team principals while fast-drying glue and concrete were being put into manholes to secure them. Just a few hours before the first rehearsal began, residents had been driving through the streets as part of their regular routine. Both Sainz and Ocon needed new chassis. They both participated in the second meeting. Carlos hit something on the track, and he didn't know what it was, Ferrari team principal Fred Vasseur remarked, displaying his obvious frustration. It is simply not appropriate for F1. The safety and security of drivers, fans and staff alike is the top priority at a Formula One race, the race's organisers said in a statement. In the wake of the water valve cover incident that occurred last night at the Las Vegas Grand Prix, F1 and the FIA made the decision to take additional safety measures to guarantee the track's integrity before racing resumed. The completion of these extra precautions took several hours, which caused the race schedule to be significantly delayed. LVGP made the tough decision to close fan zones before practice two started because of the late hour and practical concerns about the safe evacuation of spectators and staff from the circuit. Now that practice has concluded in its entirety, 
LVGP is looking forward to giving everyone a safe and enjoyable race weekend. When the race finally ended, Sainz, who received a 10-place grid penalty, was behind Ferrari's Charles Leclerc by 0.157 seconds, with Fernando Alonso of Aston Martin coming in third. Lewis Hamilton finished ninth and Verstappen sixth. After striking the manhole cover during first practice, Sainz was penalised for exceeding power unit components on the grid, which was a regrettable development, to say the least. The stewards acknowledge that, although the regulations do not permit such action, they would have done so if they had the authority to cancel the penalty due to mitigating unusual and unfortunate circumstances, the statement continued. Verstappen remarked of practice, I learned nothing new. It's not the greatest track I've heard. Before this first race, Liberty had already spent £250,000 building the pit and paddock complex alone. Stretching around three American football fields, Liberty is a permanent structure dedicated to a decade in Las Vegas. The beginning of the decade could hardly have been worse.